What up YouTube, this is Sneed from Sneed Mobile Tech and I have a video for you guys today to report some news from the AT&T camp. It looks like AT&T is looking to be testing their 4 carrier aggregation technology. For those of you that aren't sure what carrier aggregation is, it's essentially a technology that allows a phone to receive multiple LTE signals simultaneously. So, uh, from a technical standpoint, you know, some of the older smartphones, you know, they were able to receive an LTE signal and whatever that LTE signal had at the time was the speed that you could achieve. So maybe five to 10 megabits per second, for instance. With carrier aggregation, multiple carriers, you can actually have multiple LTE signals transmitted and received by that device simultaneously at any given moment. So if it's a two carrier aggregation situation, you'll be receiving two uh, LTE signals to that device, essentially doubling, well, you know, increasing the speed of the device, its connectivity. So, you know, I've seen this in terms of like the Google Pixel that I've been using for the last seven or eight months. Um, I've seen three carrier aggregation with one band two and two band four signals. And I've seen, you know, speeds of over 150 megabits per second. Now with, in the case of AT&T testing the four carrier aggregation, we could essentially be uh, seeing speeds even faster than that. Um, I would estimate maybe something like 200, you know, 300 megabits per second on the download, which is really great. I, I really like this move from AT&T. I think this is really helping them presently with their 4G LTE. Uh, we all know that there's been a lot of uh, bandwidth usage with the unlimited plans. This should definitely help with that. Also, I think more importantly, this is going to help with the 5G deployment for companies. Now, this is not 5G. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that this technology is going to be useful in deploying the 5G networks, getting to that that theoretical uh, threshold of 5G uh, network speeds. So AT&T is testing it. Uh, it looks like it should be deployed by the end of the year. I think they should be able to have it active and useful on the network. Uh, I don't think there's any particular restrictions to any devices. Any device that's capable of two or three carrier aggregation uh, should be able to support it. So we'll see. I'm sure some people are going to be posting speed tests on the AT&T network in the near future. We'll know for sure when we see their speeds are exceeding you know, 150 and 200 uh, megabits per second. So um, I don't know. We'll see what this does. Uh, me personally, I think it will be out by the end of the year. It is just a software update. You know, it's just going to be activated, switch will be turned on, and boom, it's ready to go. Uh, so that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Steve from Steve Mobile Tech, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.